Hi, this is Dave here, and I am really excited today because I am doing an opening of a box of uh, antique or vintage watches that I got from my friend Tom, who does estate sale cleanouts. So take a look at um, on the screen of what I'm posting for his information, if you're ever curious. And uh, thanks to Tom for selling me this lot. He gets a lot of um, items that, that he can uh, resell to people like me who like to also resell. And so he sold me a box of 96 watches, including parts, uh, also some extra jewelry that he throw in. Uh, so let's take a look at what he's got here. And uh, <laughs> this is fantastic. He's got this giant bag of jewelry, um, which is just thrown in. So um, lots of potential here uh, between uh, medallions that have marks on them, earrings, obviously, some necklaces, maybe a rosary. So um, this is gonna be interesting to pick through and uh, that alone, I think I'm gonna probably make a video of uh, what items I was able to find and sell um, from this bag. So let's set this over here. Um, oh, this is great. <laughs> I mean, look at this. It's like literally loaded to the gills with, um, with watches. Uh, here are the parts that he talked about. Um, Looks like some faces, some bands, parts of bands. So again, I'll set that over there, see what I want to do with it later. You got the packing here. I'm going to save that for shipping eventually. Um, okay, so how do you even begin sorting this? Uh, I think what I'm going to start with is probably maybe a pile of digital, a pile of kids' watches. This looks like it could be kids um, or, I don't know, so we'll start that. Oh, interesting, kind of opens. So we dig around here. Uh, this is cool, this is Swiss. Um, broken wrist band, so let's set broken stuff over here. Not everything's gonna be perfect, of course. This one is also broken, but it's a fossil, so that is definitely worth, um, actually it's not broken, it's just the band, so that's perfect. So Fossil's a good brand. We're gonna set that over here, see if we could sell that one sooner than later. Uh, digital, gonna have to put a battery in to know if that one works. Uh, oh, this one's interesting. This is an old Timex, very old band. Um, let's see, it's not working, but if we wind it. Look at that, it is working. That piece is moving. Yeah, it's moving. That's fantastic. So definitely gonna put this in a near term to sell, do some homework on that. Um, man, this is like overwhelming. There's just so many here. I don't know where to start, but it's so exciting. Uh, names that are familiar, I know Geneva. I've sold a watch of theirs before. Um, Seiko is a popular brand. Again, not expecting to find Rolexes in here, but at a buck a watch, can't can't really go wrong here. Oh, this is an interesting timepiece. It's an owl piece. It closes and opens. <laughs> Gonna definitely have to do some homework and see um, what uh, what that is valued at. It looks like it could be hanging, like a medallion of sorts. I can't read this one. <laughs> I have to get my glasses. Okay, Sophie, that's probably a women's or a children's brand, not sure. Gonna do homework on that set over here. Another really old one. Um, this is Sarah Coventry. So that's an old jewelry brand that I've tried to sell brooches of before, and I think they have to be rare or really old in order to have more value, but um, definitely we're doing some homework on. This is great. Kind of digging around, there's layers here. Okay, Iger. Uh, another twin sept, Casio. So that looks interesting. Casio is kind of a popular brand from 80s and 90s. I mean, keyboard's gonna look this one up. Ah, another fossil. In good shape, very nice, iridescent blue. Definitely gonna put that in a near-term pile to try to sell sooner than later. This one's broken. It's a Timex Indiglo. Gonna see if there's parts in the bag, but gonna set it in the broken pile for now. Uh, 
Another Seiko. Part of this is I've got to do some learning, right? I've got to do more homework, figure out which of these might have value, what brands other than the ones I'm already familiar with could be valuable to resell right away. Um, another, another digital one, this one's actually still running, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to do some more immediate homework on this because if it's got a working battery and it's of value, I'm going to sell it right away. Um, another digital not working, so we'll set that over here. Uh, very good, just plain quartz. Oh, this one's nice, less brass. So again, all these are in good shape. There's very few that are broken or really scratched or um, lack the ability to be resold. Again, just probably need batteries. So I think I'm gonna stop my video for now, do a little bit of homework. Oh, one more Timex. These guys are classic. They do very well on resale. Um, they've been around forever. People are very loyal to this brand. So what I'm gonna do is probably uh, come up with maybe five of these watches that I'm gonna put up first for auction. And then I'm gonna show you guys what they sell for. And we're gonna probably make this an ongoing series. I think we're going to um, put up five, see what sells and for how much. And you guys can kind of see as we whittle down the amount in this box, what, uh, what we get to. I'm gonna to try to maybe do one every week or two. And uh, if you have questions or if there's brands that you're looking for, reach out to me or comment. Um, Cause yeah, this is so much fun to dig through. Um, so we'll do a little more digging next time and a little reporting back about how things went. Um, so after I end this video clip, I'm gonna put up a clip of some homework that I've done and what I think uh, these things should get listed for. And then we will, uh, we'll see in a future video what they went for. All right. Okay, so I'm back after a little bit of time uh, removing the backs from some watches, replacing batteries, uh, using these various instruments. Um, I was able to get a total of five watches that I think are good candidates to start with. Um, also having touched them up a little bit with um, some bath oil and makeup uh, remover pad uh, to get all the gooey sticker residue off of various watches. So um, I picked five different brands so we can kind of get a sense of what's worth what um, and learn a little bit more about five brands instead of just you know one or two brands that everyone knows. So the first one is a brand everyone knows. It's a Fossil. Uh, it's of the uh, F2 variety, so uh, it looks like it's a women's watch. It's not huge, and uh, again, it's working. The second hand's working there. Um, after that, I also picked a uh, Sophie by um, Colesio watch. has a lot of nice rhinestones around it, and um, these tend to go for a decent amount, so we'll see. I'll start it maybe at $10. Uh, after that, we have another one. Um, Osirac or Osirac, I'm not sure exactly the name of the brand. That Not a ton of them sell, but this one is unique in that it's got a second circle here with some floating gemstones, so I'm hoping that sets it apart. Uh, and if not, I'll learn from that experience too. But again, I've got it working. It's worth trying to see if I can get something for it. Another one is less rare but interesting. Um, it's a brand called Xanadu. It's from China, but it's got an interesting kind of um, bracelet nature to it. It's got a mother of pearl face, which I did not see in any other ones that sold. And so I figure, again, for a $10 start, wouldn't be worth, uh, you know, it would be worth trying to see what it goes for. Uh, and then lastly is the one that I had pointed out before. Uh, it's the mechanical Timex one. I did a little homework on it. This leather band is unique for it. It uh, dates to the 70s. So it's, uh, it's coming up on 50 years old. Um, and again, it works. I saw a comparable one go for between 50 and 100. So I think I might start it at $50 uh, and see if uh, it's interesting enough to someone. Um, I mean, that would get half of my money back on, on one try. So um, this is our starting five that we have. I'll be putting them up on eBay and I'll show you guys the listings I have. And, uh, and we'll see what sells, what doesn't, and we'll kind of learn from the experience. All right, so next I'm gonna be showing you the listings. Okay, so here are the five eBay listings that are launching the same night that I'm launching this YouTube video. The first is the Fossil Watch. Uh, as you can see, the start price is there too. We'll see if that's what we get for it. The second watch is the Sophie Watch, um, also a reasonable starting price in working condition. Third watch being the Osirac one with the floating gems, also a reasonable starting price. Fourth watch being the Xanadu watch with the mother of pearl dial. And then of course, fifth being the 
vintage Timex one that's wind up that still works. Um, and that one's rare. I'm going to take a chance and start it at a high listing price. Again, hoping there's maybe a bidding war, but we will see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching my first ever unboxing video. I was really excited to make it and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, take a look at these items on eBay. My seller name is LC208 and um, I'm hoping to post up update video in the next couple weeks uh, as far as explaining what these watches sold for um, and what ones may not have sold. Um, please share this with others if you think it's interesting and you think others would find it interesting. And of course, please like and subscribe um, so I can get some motivation to keep making these. Thank you so much, guys.